Hey everyone, I wanted to take just a moment to discuss the photojournalism assignment with you. I think this is going to be a really unique and interesting assignment for everybody. A little different from the other things we've been doing, but very much in the vein of, of digital journalism and very important to, to that aspect of, of reporting. So, let's take a look at the assignment real quick. Um, first of all, the purpose of this assignment is to plan, research, and compose a story through the medium of photojournalism. So while you're going to be using some a little bit of words in here, primarily this story is going to be conveyed and communicated through the medium of, of photography, of pictures. So um, so that's our purpose here is to, to have an article that is that is, uh, that is driven forward by these these photographs. The nuts and bolts of the assignment are, it, it's your choice of topic, niche, and type. You can choose really whatever you want uh, for this story. It's, it's, this really is wide open. Again, we need to, to be thinking about the audience and make sure that it's something people are going to be interested in, in and engaged by. But, but within that, you, know, you really have a great deal of creative freedom with this assignment. You're going to need about 10 to 15 pictures. It ought to be somewhere in that range, 10 to 15 pictures that tell a story through a progression of these these photos and and, uh, and the uh, we'll, we'll be discussing photojournalism a little bit more uh, in class so hopefully you have a good idea what we mean by this but you'll need about 10 to 15 pictures that tell the story you are going to need a title so the first the first you know slide or whatever ought to have a, a title on the top along with a picture but along with your cover photo but you're going to need a headline or a title um, for this piece, and do think in terms of newspaper headlines, things like that. So you need a title. Uh, and you may use captions as needed. Not all the photos need to have a caption, uh, but you may use, you know, a caption, especially like on the first picture, if you feel like you need a caption to kind of just set the scene for where is this at, what date is this, what's happening, whatever, you can use that in the caption. And if you need some as you go along, that's fine to include a, a brief caption. Now, not a story. We're talking about like one sentence, really, uh, maybe for, for that picture. But And it's certainly not required for all the photos. If you feel like the photos tell the story themselves, that's perfect. You don't need captions. But you are allowed to use them as you as you wish and as you need. Uh, you're going to prepare this either in PowerPoint or Google Slides, or one option you have in PowerPoint, if you'd rather do that, is, is to save it as a PDF. You can still do it in PowerPoint, and then when you save as, you can go to PDF, and it'll save it as one long file instead of a, a slideshow, if you'd prefer to do that. Um, so you're going to either, again, submit the PowerPoint file or the PDF in uh, the discussion board area where everybody can see it. And, or you can submit the link for the Google Slide. If you want to use Google Slides, you know, you can submit the link for how we could access that in that discussion board. But somehow we're going to access that. You're going to submit that through that discussion board area so we can all see it and uh, enjoy your, your, your story. And uh, so that'll need to be there. You know, again, you can set that up in PowerPoint. You can uh, set it up in PowerPoint and save it as a PDF. Or you can use Google Slides. If you have questions about how to do any of that, please feel free to to email me and I'm open to other things too. Those are just the, the main things that people are going to have access to and be able to use uh, in putting this together. If you have a different format in mind, you know, if you have an online program or something that, that you feel accomplishes this and it allow you to provide a link that we can all access, perfectly fine with that, uh, whatever format you want to use. These just happen to be the, the uh, ones that most people are going to have access to. This is going to be due in Module 6, so be thinking about that as it's coming up and that's when it's going to be due. As far as next level things to keep in mind, again, for all of these things, whether they're written, whether they're photo photographed, whatever, all of these stories need to keep the audience in mind. What are we going to be interested in as an audience? What's the audience need to know? What are you hoping to convey to them? Keep all of that in mind as you as we move through this. It's so important in anything journalism related that we keep the audience in mind from the very beginning till the very end and, all, and everything in between. Keep your focus narrowed, narrowed in on this one topic or one one story, one you know specific thing that you're going to tell us about with multiple pictures. But keep that in focus narrowed. Don't don't tell us everything in the world. Tell us about this one thing and show us through the photographs what makes it special, what makes it important, what makes it newsworthy or unique or or whatever it is you're trying to convey to us. Be compelling, and you have a real chance to do that through the use of photography. Uh, photography is very immediate and, and really compelling, so um, so be sure you, you take some shots and get some photographs that are going to be compelling to the audience. And then think beyond the class. Again, this is an assignment for a class, but I always encourage you to think about how would the audience beyond this class see this, and, and is there a place for this? Is there a place that we could submit this? Is there a place in a publication that, that they could use this and that we could share this with a broader audience? So be thinking beyond the class a little bit. If you have questions about this assignment or any other assignment or, or anything related to the, the course, don't hesitate to email me. 
it's just josh.rocky, R-O-C-K-E-Y, josh.rocky at greenville.edu. I'd we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have and do so as quickly as I possibly can. In the meantime, really enjoy this assignment. I can't wait to see the photographs that you come up with. I'm so fascinated by photojournalism and really looking forward to the stories that you're going to be able to tell us through this medium.